The overarching theme of the conference is the roles of non-coding RNAs in cancer biology. And we're going to cover almost the whole spectrum of the field from the basic biology of non-coding RNAs and how they're regulated and how they participate in cancer all the way to therapeutic applications and clinical applications. So we're hoping to cover a very wide spectrum of the field and we think this will appeal to virtually anybody working in this area. There'll be sessions on um, basic non-coding RNA biology and there'll also be sessions that will have people brought in from industry to discuss the clinical applications and how new therapeutics are being developed to exploit these new pathways that were being discovered. Every year I would say the field really dramatically advances and so it's been I think three years since the last conference and so we now understand that there's a much broader spectrum of functions that non-coding RNAs perform in the cell from anywhere from transcriptional regulation all the way to uh, interacting with target proteins and mRNAs in the cytoplasm. And from a phenotypic standpoint, these have really important implications for tumor biology. And non-coding RNAs have been found to influence all aspects of cancer biology. And finally, there's been tremendous advances uh, on the therapeutic and clinical side. I think that recently there have been some tremendous advances in expanding our ability to interrogate the functions of non-coding RNAs, in particular genome editing methods have had a major impact on the field. And so what that's allowed now is really a new understanding of what non-coding RNAs do in cells. Some of them seem to act um, at the site of transcription to regulate transcription and to regulate gene structure, but others seem to play very diverse functions away from their site of transcription and regulating other diverse processes in the cell. And I think what's been very exciting is our ability to really investigate those functions has advanced dramatically even in the last year. And so I expect that this conference will really provide an opportunity for some of those new advances to be presented. We've designed the meeting in a way where we hope it'll provide uh, opportunities to have intimate interactions with leaders in the field, both in academia and in industry. And this, I think, will be a great opportunity for scientists at all levels, especially junior scientists, who have a chance to interact directly with uh, those types of people and especially if someone is interested in, in an academic track we're going to have leaders in academia if someone is interested in an industrial track those leaders are going to be at the meeting as well someone who's undecided will have an opportunity to see how research is performed on both sides of that equation and so I think this is going to be a really exciting opportunity and we are as organizers of the meeting we're very mindful that this is a great chance for younger scientists to meet some people in the field who've made some of the important contributions. And we're going to do everything that we can to provide those opportunities. We're going to bring in some of the people that we think are going to present the latest, most cutting edge research. So in addition to providing these outstanding network opportunities, this is going to be a great chance just to get abreast of the absolute latest cutting edge developments in the field. And we think it's going to be a really exciting meeting.